Financial Services. Congressman, thanks for the time today. Good to be with you. Um, Chair Waters didn't mention uh, uh, Robin Hood by name when she announced uh, these hearings that we think we'll get. Uh, no date either. But is the hearing about Robin Hood or is it something larger, do you think? Well, I think it'll uh, get lar larger than just this one GameStop uh, situation with, uh, with Robin Hood. Uh, a decision will be made as to whether those uh, hearings are at the full committee level or uh, before the capital market subcommittee that I chair. And uh, I, I think we have to look not just on how the markets affect the participants, but how they affect the entire economy. Uh, I'm not a fan of day trading. I'm not a fan of short selling. Uh, what we want to see our capital markets do is to provide capital for businesses that are actually functioning out there in the economy. All this talk about GameStop and uh, the company hasn't received any of this money. It's not building any new stores. Um, the, we, I don't think the capital market should be a casino. Um, if they are, you know, to the extent they are, we got to make sure it's a fair casino. But what I'd much rather do is go back to a period of time when the average stock was held uh, for four years rather than just for six months. So that's interesting. Uh, when we start to talk about uh, required uh, duration of holdings, I mean, that's you're getting into an interesting area there. I mean, uh, well, Senator I'm, Toomey, I'm, notwithstanding, we did see. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm, I'm not proposing some law that says you buy a stock, you have to hold it for a year. But we ought to have financial education in our high schools and colleges so that people realize that the purpose of investing in a stock is because you believe it'll go up over the long term, not because you believe that you're going to beat the market by six seconds or six minutes. Well, Congressman, I, the horse may have left the barn on that one. Uh, I mean, advances in technology make it so that you know, just by picking up your phone, you can trade stocks, sell, buy within seconds. Uh, it, it's unclear that's going to yeah, change. Yeah, that doesn't mean you should. Yeah. Uh, Technology but, allows you to drive a car over a cliff. Yeah, right. I had driver's education. They told me not to do that. No, and you're right. There is a lot of education. It's frankly, what we try to do here, although many would attack us for actually doing that. Uh, it's been a you know, fascinating week to watch. You know, I wonder when you talk about short selling as well, I would point out, and it's hard to defend in certain areas, but there are short sellers also who've uncovered frauds in the market through the years. Uh, when I used to do more reporting on that, uh, working with some of them, they were excellent policemen for the market. So, you know, I mean, every regulation has a uh, bring something else uh, that unexpected. I just, I just wonder how much you think really can be done here when there's a full understanding of what's occurred. Well, in the UK and uh, in Europe, uh, there's disclosure whenever you have a short position of over half of 1% of the stock outstanding. We ought to take a look at adopting that. It hasn't destroyed the stock markets of, uh, of the UK and the EU. Congressman, uh, in general, should it be allowed to be able to short companies at more than 100%? Is that sort of the key area that uh, a lawmaker like yourself might be honing well, in well, on? Certainly no one short seller uh, should be uh, shorting over 100%. Uh, in this case, uh, it's hard to say who went over 100% because you had a whole group of people uh, who may or may not have been connected. And at the other side, you had uh, those in the Reddit group who were bidding the stock price up. Uh, the stock price should reflect the real value of the company, not some tug of war between guys in the, uh, on Reddit and guys uh, in the C Street uh, suites uh, uh, on Wall Street. Uh, the, uh, we, we have, we've got to get back to a situation where we have long-term investment based on the value of the company not uh, momentum investing based on the idea that the company may not be worth anything or the Bitcoin may not be worth anything, but I can sell it to, I, I can sell it to a bigger fool uh, and get out of it and make a profit. Um, when we see um, uh, Ocasio-Cortez and Ted Cruz agreeing on, on something like this, at least uh, in theory, uh, Senator Toomey's comments notwithstanding, I wonder, do you think that there is enough uh, circularity here where policy is actually possible. I mean, we talk all the time about uh, the lack of bipartisanship, but of, of, of the issues you're looking at, do you think this is the most bipartisan? Well, I think there's a bipartisan angst that something is going wrong here, uh, that it's uh, that both on the short selling side, but also on Robin Hood, uh, creating a relationship with its customers, then cutting them off uh, for uh, no, uh, no apparent reason. Uh, and uh, so I think 
but I don't see a a a, uh, a, a, a Cruz and Ocasio Cortez focusing on the same piece of legislation. So I, I think that right now the unity is just on something's wrong when a stock was worth ten dollars uh, a few months ago. The company hasn't changed. It's not like they developed a vaccine, and now it's uh, selling, <laughs> selling for for four hundred and eighty dollars, and then down to three eighty. And it could maybe it's worth nothing, and maybe it's worth three eighty, and maybe our capital markets should reflect the value of the company. And the vast majority, uh, you know, you got the ticker on the bottom there. The vast majority of the of the uh, of the stocks are being bought and sold by people who think. That's kind of the fair value of that stock at the present time, given the company's prospects. I don't think anybody involved in, in GameStock uh, really can make that case. Congressman, we're, we're, the hearings are going to be big news, at least for our audience. Uh, and we thank you for giving us at least a peek as to what might be discussed. Uh, Congressman Sherman, thanks. Have a good weekend. Good to be with you. As we uh, head to a...